Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to add multiple colors to all these objects like this because I've mentioned it in maybe one or two videos, but since I have over 450 videos, it's possible that you haven't seen it yet, right? And it's a really important trick because maybe I've built this scene, and here's my little animation that I was running from the previous video. I have a new backdrop in it this time. But now this gray here is just kind of boring relative to everything else. And maybe I want a nice color to balance against here. So what I'll do is you can come in and say add a material to a single object here like this. And even if you had copied these from each other, or maybe you just set them up separately, you, you can't always just change all the colors at the same time. So if I just come in here and let's find a color that kind of works. I don't have any, oh, I better... Let me do one thing first. Let me put a light out in front of it so I can actually see what it looks like. I'll just put a light here. I could change the emission, but... Alright, now I'll go change... I'll add it to this one instead. So, let's see. Actually, if I press DEL, it zooms right in, even when you're in. That's, that's a nice trick. Alright, so... Something that's going to balance against that blue and the red. So it's going to have to be some kind of greenish color. Maybe this aqua turquoise color. I thought it work. And maybe I'll crank the emission up like that. So that's a nice good balance. But then what do I have to do? I have to go pick each one. You know, So I have that built into the scene. And I'll call that aqua like this. Then I could come down here and go pick aqua from the scene. And I've changed that and pick one like this. But sometimes you have you know, hundreds and hundreds of individual objects, if not thousands of objects, especially when you're working with these rigid body dynamics, which is how I like to work. So what you can do is you can just go pick a bunch of stuff. You can either have this on a layer or maybe they're in a separate group, but I'm just going to I'll click a bunch at the same time holding down the shift key like this. Or I could be grouping these, you know, together. And then what I do, then the very last one that I click is going to be this aqua colored object. So then I click it like this, all right? So the others haven't changed, but then if you hit, if I always remember the control key, it's control L, I think. Oh, there it is. Yeah, control L, and you make a link. And I want to link the materials. So basically, I want to link the other materials to that last one that's selected. So when I pick it, suddenly I've just changed them all. And I assure you that is a trick that will save you lots of time. Because it took me a long time before I ever discovered that one. You know, I mean, I'd go through and I'd change them all or I'd... You know, so I'll just make these this purple color as well. And then when we see what this looks like when it falls apart. All right, control L again, this one here, and materials. Yikes, I didn't want to do that. Hang on, the last one, that one. Control L, materials. There we go, those are purple as well. All right, so now, of course, then we, when we run the animation, like here, I'll just turn everything off. So then you can already see the colors make a big difference in the scene here with at least with these those there like that, right? So you get all kinds of effects. All right, well that's it for now. Just, you know, trying to help out any way I can and I'll see you in the next video.